Global Fundamentals for Newcomers, Unit 4, Global Connections, Week of June 15, 2020, Episode 10. The outcome for today's lesson is that students will be able to identify living and non-living things in order to relate the information to an endangered animal. Let's take a look at some living things. I see plants, I see people, and I see animals. These are all living things. Now let's take a look at some non-living things. I see a soccer ball, balloons, a doll, a toy robot, and a large rock. Some of these are man-made items and some are found in nature, but they are all non-living things. Let's think for a moment. How are living and non-living things different? Let's find out. The first characteristic is that living things can breathe. I see a picture of a girl who's breathing fresh air in through her nose. I see a runner who looks like he's been exercising and is out of breath. Have you ever gone outside to play with your friends and play chase and you run and you run and you run and finally you have to stop because you're so out of breath from chasing them. And it sounds like this. And you have to give yourself a moment to catch your breath. You must be a living thing. If I look at the box of crayons, they can stay inside that box all day and all night because they do not need to breathe. They are non-living things. The next characteristic is that living things eat food. I see a picture of a dog eating his food. He must be a living thing. But Pikachu? No, he's not a living thing and he does not need to eat food. The next characteristic tells me that living things grow. I see a plant that started as a seed and grew bigger and bigger and bigger. It must be a living thing. If I look at your fork and your spoon and your knife, does it grow each time you eat a meal? No, it doesn't get bigger. It's not a living thing. Another characteristic is that living things move and they move all by themselves without any help at all. If I look at that dog, and the bone. I wonder who's going to win the race. Can you guess? Let's find out. Yes, you were right. The dog is a living thing and can move on its own. The bone just sits there on the ground because it cannot move. It's not a living thing. And the last characteristic that we're going to talk about is that living things reproduce. That means they have babies. I see a mother duck in the water with her baby ducklings. They must be living things. They're also moving in the water. If you look at the pair of socks, they don't have baby socks. Man makes these socks if you want more. So they are non-living things. Let's think about our pandas that we've been talking about. 
Are pandas a living thing? Let's check. We'll take a look at the characteristics again and decide if pandas are living or non-living. Do panda bears breathe? What do you think? Yes, they do breathe. Panda bears breathe. Say that with me, please. Panda bears breathe. Do panda bears eat food? We learned that they love bamboo. What do you think? Yes, panda bears eat food. Say that with me. Panda bears eat food. Do panda bears grow? Look at the pictures to help you. Yes, pandas start as a newborn baby cub and then they grow up to be an adult. Panda bears grow. Repeat after me, panda bears grow. Do panda bears reproduce or have babies? Yes, panda bears reproduce. Say that after me, panda bears reproduce. Now it's time to write about what we have learned. I'll give you a little bit of time to go get a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's write about what we have learned about panda bears. Are they living things? Yes, let's write a sentence about that. Panda bears are living Things. Period. Panda bears are living things. Say that after me. Panda bears are living things. Why do you say that? What can they do? Let's write about it. They can breathe comma eat comma, move, comma, grow, comma, and have babies. Period. They can breathe, eat, move, grow, and have babies. Say that after me. They can breathe, eat, move, grow, and have babies. Now let's read the whole thing together. Panda bears are living things. They can breathe, eat, move, 
grow, and have babies. Let's review the characteristics about living things with a song. If you can breathe, eat, move, grow, and also reproduce, then all of these things are proof that you're a living thing. Try to sing it with me and look at the words to help you. If you can breathe, eat, move, grow, and also reproduce, then all of these things are proof that you're a living thing. Great job. Are you a living thing? Can you find living and non-living things in your home? Let's take a look at this paper. You can make this one yourself. You need two columns. One says living and the other one says non-living. Look around your home for living and non-living things. Then you can draw a picture or write the word on the T-chart. For example, my son has a cat. So I can draw a picture of a cat or write the word cat in the box where it says living. I also have shoes in my home, so I can draw a picture of a shoe or write the word shoe in the column where it says non-living things. See how many you can find. Let's review the outcome for today. Students will be able to identify living and non-living things. Did we do that? Yes. We talked about the characteristics of living things and how they're different from non-living things. Why did we do that? Well, we wanted to talk about that information so that we could determine or figure out if a panda bear was a living or non-living thing. We decided that a panda bear is a living thing. Thank you for joining us today and learning more about living and non-living things.